I gotta have more cowbell. You got a, one song in your catalog that you think could benefit from more cowbell? <laughs> All of them. Are you kidding? <laughs> You can never go wrong with cowbell. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's what I think, man. Everything needs more cowbell. Um, yeah, like even even the ballads. Come on, put a cowbell in it. <laughs> Hell yeah. It worked for Mississippi Queen, please. <laughs> well, you got a huge catalog of songs. Do you got any on there that you think uh, would benefit from more cowbell? Ah, the cowbell, bro. More 12 string. Yeah. Um, yeah, the cowbell, the cowbell thing, that is hysterical. I, I remember seeing a Saturday Night Live spoof on that. That was just, I think it was with, uh, who in the heck was that? Blue Oyster Cult or something? Blue Oyster Cult, yeah, yeah, don't fear the Reaper it, when that cowbell comes in. Yeah, dude, the cowbell, it's all out of time, all loud. Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant, man, the cowbell thing. And I was wondering if you ever thought of re-recording that and maybe adding some cowbell. <laughs> cowbell yeah there you go that's what we need more cowbell now nothing else matters or enter sandman which one would benefit from cowbell oh enter sandman (laughs) you know i gotta have that cowbell baby no if you think about nothing else how were they gonna where are you gonna put that i know not gonna work but i think King, 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 hell yeah, like yeah. I'm an American band, yeah. it's just like that, oh my god, yeah, huge dyn- dynamite, let's go back and re-record it, yeah. let's do it, well, yeah. for the remasters, yeah. for the remasters, remasters so let's see, we're 92, we got about three more years before it's 25, yeah. and we'll just go and do it, yeah. great Add idea, cowbell. See? write hey. that down, yeah, give me credit my cowbell it, solo, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need the spot, I'm gonna need the spotlight operators in the studio, <laughs> well, I got a really serious question now. Um, that's the song Love of a Lifetime. You ever think of remastering it and uh, adding some cowbell? <laughs> um, well, you know, maybe to the good acoustics version. <laughs> there are a couple of versions. And we that did would this work. one. That would it, work. It is more, it's more up-tempo on that one, you know. It's kind of got a country <laughs> feel to it. We actually shot a second video for that, like, years later in 1996, maybe, in Bangkok, Thailand, on the Chaprya River. The Asians wanted something different. And uh, we did Love of a Lifetime. It's more up. It goes, dum, 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 dum. You know, that's about the tempo of it. Yeah. So I could hear a goo, 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 goo. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. And that one, easy, hell yeah. yeah. Wow, man, you should be a producer. I'm telling you, that's what I'm thinking. When you remaster anything, put cowbell in it. Dude, you can't go wrong. You sound like Christopher Walken. You know that. Well, CJ stole it from me. (laughs) You got any songs on the new solo album that's going to feature the cowbell? (laughs) If I do, I'm getting Will Ferrell to do it. (laughs) And I was wondering if you think there's any if you ever do a remix of it if you would it benefit to add some cowbell <laughs> i have no clue <laughs> cowbell we were, might sound great on it but have you ever thought of uh basing your whole composition around a cowbell <laughs> yeah but you know um we tried that but it, it ended up on a saturday night live skip years and years ago so. <laughs> Jerry's a big fan of the cowbell, and he thinks that every song could be improved by just a little cowbell. Yeah, just add a little cowbell. Sneak One of the greatest sketches ever. <laughs> yes, I'm, I know. Because I never even knew there was cowbell in that fucking song on the, the <laughs> Don't Fear the Reaper. I never really listened for it until I saw that sketch, and then I'm like, fuck, there is cowbell in that song. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, man, that's one of the funniest sketches ever. That's that classic. With the, big, with the sweater <laughs> riding up. Yeah, who is that? Who's that? Will Will Ferrell. That? But, yeah, Will Ferrell. Yeah. Oh, my God, his belly's hanging out. You're like, oh. <laughs> well, with the Black Star Riders, with the new album coming out, um, are there any songs on there that are going to feature the cowbell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cowbell. <laughs> Well, come on, man. You know, you got to have some cowbell in there somewhere. <laughs> actually, actually, there is something, but I'll let you uh, do a little digging when Sweet. it comes out. 
<laughs> I want everybody to, you know, we want everybody to get that album, man, and listen, take a good listen, top to bottom. Yeah. Actually, yes, there is a track there. Sweet. Uh, probably the cowbell, and we have to throw it in there. We're big fans uh, of the we, cowbell. Uh, yeah. l- let's just say that we had a lot of fun with it in the studio, too. So, um, having produced those albums, you ever look back and say, wow, you know, those... Those first two albums, there was some cowbell, but there could have been more. <laughs> yeah, there should have been more cowbell, you know. Yeah. So uh, me and Red have been uh, arguing over here, and I, I personally think Drag the Waters could uh, have some more cowbell, would benefit from more cowbell. What do you think? <laughs> I can't believe that was on there to start with. <laughs> Did he walk around the studio? Hitting more cowbell. <laughs> who, who did that? that was Saturday night. Yeah, Will Ferrell did that. Bit. Yeah, Will Ferrell, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, no, 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 stop. More cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> so, are there any tracks on this last album uh, you think could benefit from some cowbell, like maybe Blackbird or? <laughs> oh, there's because there's, there's always room for cowbell, always. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Blackbird especially. <laughs> yeah. Are there any songs on the new album that are gonna like feature the cowbell? <laughs> no. No? Are you sure? <laughs> no. Come on. No cowbell on this one. Oh, sorry. Let's add it to the live show. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could yeah. probably kick ass on a cowbell. I mean, you could be out there doing a cowbell solo instead of, your, <laughs> instead of the drum solo and stuff. You know. Just kind of... <laughs> Trump, so is it? <laughs> um, no, no, no cowbell. On this new album, I was wondering if there's any songs on there you think could have benefited from some cowbell. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I think Ride the Monkey. Right. We, we didn't get cowbell on there. I think we should have put put cowbell on Ride the Monkey. It should have been, you know, the featured the featured instrument. I'm telling you, I'm, you can't go wrong with cowbell, dude. So, um, are there any songs, uh, hard rock or metal songs that you listen to and you say, that could have used more cowbell? <laughs> no, but you know, Buck Dharma's on the new season of that metal show. <laughs> There's oh, a segue nice. for you. Nice. You should nice. do a chapter on just metal bo- metal uh, cowbell songs. Are there that the many? One. I don't know. We Black, said- Star, Black Star Riders just got one. Yeah. That's one on their new, song, new album, uh, Hoodoo Voodoo. Has some cowbell. Yeah, in that's it. one of my favorite songs on that it's record. It's got actually. some cowbell in it. We sat with Jason Newstead a couple Saturday nights ago and just were listing them off. You know, because <laughs> yeah, because he thinks that we have an obsession with the cowbell. <laughs> so, you got any songs on the new album you think could have benefited from some cowbell? You know, I don't think there are any songs that couldn't have benefited from some cowbell. <laughs> But that kind of goes across the board for just about most rock bands. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's hard to find one that looks like, ooh, no, Cowboy would ruin that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a huge catalog of songs. Is there any song that you look back on and say, wow, if I would have added some Cowbell, that would have really sent it over the top? <laughs> More Cowbell. Um, well, you know, you always have regrets about, mainly <laughs> usually about production, um, which cowbell would be included in that right? the <laughs> instrumentation so yeah I'm, I'm, I think looking back there's a few few places where we probably dropped the ball and could have had more cowbell or uh, you know as they say more strings or or uh, magic dust on top of some of the songs <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you know Tom I still listen to Still Climbing and I thought that was a fantastic album do you think that album just fell at the wrong time yeah, either that or, or it needed more cowbell. I'm, I'm not sure which. <laughs> that, that may be the one we dropped the ball on. Because I don't think there's any cowbell on that record. Hey, you could remaster it and send it out. With, put cowbell on everything. <laughs> Overdubbed the cowbell. Yeah, and everything <laughs> you put minutes. it out. Yeah. Put it out as a new one. <laughs> yeah. I, well, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm going to look into that. <laughs> now, the song Never Been Any Reason has some awesome cowbell in it. You got any other song? Got any other songs you think should uh, could have had some cowbell in them? Oh, there's always a need for cowbell. Let me see. What else do we do that has some cowbell? Eddie banged some cowbell. Was banging some cowbell on. on you can put it in anything. You can put it pretty in much. anything. Cowbell is pretty pretty versatile, and it is it is heavy metal, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> if you put cowbell in there, it automatically um, qualifies. But, yeah, it metals um, it up. 
That's right. But we, did, you know, I hang around on some cowbell all the time and the rhythm break and Jeff Town Creek and some stuff like that. But never been any reasons the one where you really hear you really hear it clanging around. Are there any songs on the new album or the Queen's Right catalog you think could have benefited from some more cowbell? Ah, <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> The drumming on this record's killer. <laughs> I When's know. the last time you heard Scotty play like that? I know. I'm telling you. But there could have been some cowbell. Dude, he was a madman. And you know, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I gotta have more cowbell. Rock and Metal Revival.